All right, welcome. What we've got here today is the Hornet Outdoors chainsaw mount for a Can-Am Defender. This is a 2023 Can-Am Defender Limited. <clears throat> and this is an adjustable press. A lot of people don't know that. It comes straight up and down. I'll post a picture of that at the end. Sorry about the focus there. <clears throat> but what I didn't like was when it was straight up and down, one of the bolts was hitting the bed here, and so the press was crooked. I didn't like that, so I changed it, and all I had to do was pop off these plastic covers and um, disassemble it. So I took a few of the bolts out. I can get that to focus. So it did have these four bolts in and then two at the bottom. And so it was, the, it was one, two, three, four. These two were empty and then these two at the bottom. <clears throat> I went ahead and added two more bolts to it. Um, it was just driving me nuts having two empty holes, particularly at the end of the saw. So I went ahead and did that. They were just quarter inch um, bolts. I remember how long they were. But now you could also fit a longer bar if you wanted. This is just a little DeWalt with a 12 inch bar. Works really good for if a tree or something falls behind you or a couple of limbs or you need to cut something out of the trail. If I'm going to be going further, I'll carry probably a steel 026 that I have, so I really like. Um, but this Hornet Outdoors press fits really nice. It just fits down into these, I think they're called Q-Link um, spots in the bed. I decided to use those two because if I did want a longer saw and I used the front one here, these front two, then I would my saw um, bar would be hitting the front of the bed. All right, I'll put a picture of how this thing looked before and the reason why I didn't like it. Um, the saw is not going to fall out even at this angle because it has these wing nuts here that screw in on the on the bar, keeps it in place. All right, thanks for watching.